Good evening YouTube. This is a very brief and short uh, video regarding the very unfortunate news that we got today that legendary producer Gary Kurtz has passed away at the age of 78 in London this Sunday and I just want to uh, briefly express my um, thoughts on the man and um, I mean I mean, man, Gary Kurtz, you know, uh, it's very, very hard to uh, overstate uh, the importance and the weight of the creative contributions and the creative input he brought to um, both Star Wars and Empire. I mean, this is a man who was there from the beginnings. Um, I mean, he helped, uh, he produced the second movie of George Lucas, American Graffiti, which became a huge success on its own and then helped Lucas to develop um, the whole story and the screenplay of Star Wars. Um, he helped him to introduce the whole um, project, movie project Star Wars to the, all the major studios um, in Hollywood and helped Lucas with the casting uh, by finding the right people for the right, for the right uh, characters and was there during the very very troubled uh, uh, shooting of Star Wars and assisted George uh, during the also very complicated um, rushed and um, you know troublesome post-production process of the original Star Wars and all this hard work really uh, was rewarded by the by the unspeakable uh, phenomenal success of the original Star Wars in 77 and he went on to uh, even top that by working on uh, Empire, by working together with Irving Kashner uh, where he collaborated with him very well I think um, and Empire not only could uh, match the success of Star Wars but also surpassed it because you know as we all know, um, Empire is uh, regarded as maybe the best chapter in the whole Star Wars series. It's really a, a shame that, you know, um, Gary, the name of Gary Kurtz was sort of, mm, sort of pushed aside uh, after his departure. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not very much talked about when, uh, you know, when it comes to Star Wars, you always hear George Lucas, George Lucas, George Lucas, and of course, yes, he is the ultimate mastermind. But Star Wars... I, uh, you know, it's 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 a pretty safe thing to say that without Gary Kurtz, the whole enterprise uh, of Star Wars just, I don't think it would it, it would have became such a great success as it is, as it, ha it has become. Making making movies is a uh, very very collaborative process, and George Lucas as a uh, as a creative person is very very protective, as I said, of of his work and doesn't really want to interfere with, with many people, is very, very um, set on the goals that he wants to achieve. And you have to be a, you know, you, you have to really understand him uh, to work with him without scaring him away. And I think Gary Kurtz um, worked with him very well on both Star Wars and American Graffiti. And like I said, um, I think he and Irving Kashner was, were both a great team because Empire was of course the, the one movie where Lucas was um, a producer but wasn't on set every day and it's, it's, the, it's, it's the one movie where you know it's really more Irvin Cashner's movie than it is George's movie and Lucas was in both cases you know the I think the, 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 the man who in, in, in some ways held the whole production together and we, as fans, I think we really have to be thankful to him for, for, for the great work that he has achieved and for the great work he, he, he's done and the great results that he, that, that, that he achieved was, um, was working on those movies. When it comes to the question on why Gary Kurtz did not work on Return of the Jedi, there are, um, there are some reasons and various sources uh, say various things, you know, the official um, version of Lucasfilm and George Lucas is that, you know, during the, um, uh, during the shooting and the making of uh, The Empire Strikes Back, the whole production uh, all, of so all of a sudden got into financial trouble and Lucas had to bail the whole production with his own money 
and you know the mismanagement of the production was sort of blamed on Gary Kurtz, which was the reason why he didn't return for uh, Return of the Jedi. But that's only one version, you know, and you know it might have been a, uh, it, 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 it might it might have played a part. But but you know the other version is the Gary's version, if you will, is that he wasn't very happy uh, with the way. Um, uh, the story and the screenplay for Return of the, of the Jedi had become. Um, he did not agree with the direction that George Lucas wanted to uh, to go. The version of the Return of the Jedi that Gary wanted was much more uh, darker, much more bittersweet. Uh, like Empire focused m most uh, mostly on the characters and uh, the, their journey and their development, less on the action less Ewoks, less second Death Star, um, Gary Kurtz just did not like to repeat himself. Um, and you, one can argue that, you know, especially the second half of Return of the Jedi, Jedi was, you know, uh, the second Death Star is very, very similar to, you know, some of the story beats of, uh, of, 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 of A New Hope. And, you know, I think th this time the creative difficulties, as they say, were just a bit too much. Plus, of course, Gary Kurtz was also attached on to um, the Dark Crystal, the Jim Henson um, movie, a wonderful dark uh, little um, uh, fantasy movie that um, sadly did not become the commercial commercial hit um, that Gary was used to with his productions. Uh, it performed okay, but it was really overshadowed by the hum humongous success of E.T. Spielberg's E.T. And but you know the Dark Crystal may have not been a, a great hit financially, but it has become a, a a cult classic. I highly recommend you to watch this movie if you haven't. A great little, little um, uh, fantasy movie. Um, Danny of course worked um, on the dark, dark, very very dark, grim and depressing. Um, late sequel of The Great Wizard of Oz, Return to Oz, uh, which is, you know, controversial, which is debatable on how good it is. Uh, me personally, I haven't seen it. I have I have heard very mixed, mixed things about it. Some people really love it, some people really hate it. I don't know. I have to, uh, I, I have to watch it finally. Uh, maybe I do it right after I, I, I'm finishing making this uh, short little video. Who knows? Um, and, uh, and Gary Kurtz, of course, uh, collaborated again with Mark Hamill in 1989 on the um, science fiction movie Slipstream, which sadly was a huge disaster when it came to commercial performance. It's, uh, it had become a very little um, um, cult movie over the years. It's I, I've seen it. It's not very great, but it has some great elements to it, I, I think. You know, if you're interested, check it out. If, uh, but I would not um, call it a, uh, a essential view. But still, you know, it's, it's a interesting little footnote. But ultimately was also, sadly, a final nail, a final nail in, in the coffin when it came to his, uh, to the um, producing career of Gary Kurtz because, you know, it sort of, you know, bankrupted him. And after that, he was working on, uh, in the TV sector and TV movies, TV series, but he, it's, it's just sad that he could not, uh, you know, return to his glory days, uh, didn't have any great success anymore, which is sad, but, you know, this is how the business works sometimes, and not everything can be Star Wars, not everything can be Empire. And hey, I mean, uh, if your legacy uh, is um, Star Wars and Empire, you, you just know that you made something right um, in your creative career. So yeah, Gary Kurtz, um, I mean, it's, like I said, uh, very hard to um, o overstate the legacy that uh, you have left behind and we as Star Wars fans and as uh, cinema fans we really just have a, to appreciate the man's job and his um, his work 
and his successes, of course, we can be thankful for them. Um, of course, uh, I, um, not only my, but, of, but I think all of our thoughts are with his friends and family. You know, it's sad because um, we are now living in, 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 in the time where all those um, legends and greats of uh, the film business, not only of Star Wars, but, uh, but all uh, those legendary movies from the late 70s, early 80s, they're all getting there, getting old, and uh, one by one they are leaving us, unfortunately. Uh, Aaron Kershner's a few, few, few years back, and now Gary Kurtz, and you know, it's, it's always sad when, when, when those people leave, and, um, you know, but we can still, you know, we, we, we honor them by, um, by continue to discussing their achievements and, uh, you know, um, by watching uh, the movies that they left behind. And we have to be thankful for those who are still around with us. And ultimately, I think that's really everything I wanted to share and express. Um, thanks for sticking with me if you're still watching. So yeah, um, Gary Kurtz, um, he is and he will be missed, but he will be never forgotten. So, so long, may the force be with you and until next time.